What are the things you have to know before starting a weight loss plan? A lot of things that has to be taken into consideration. Failure to take all these things into consideration, then you might end up not seeing results. You might end up being discouraged. And, and if you are already into a weight loss plan, if you're already into it and you are not seeing any results, then there are some things that ought to be done before going into that journey. everyone welcome to my channel <laughs> my name is mercy uh this is myk tv you are welcome to my channel if you are just watching me for the first time you are very much welcome please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and share my video Today, I will be talking about uh, important things that has to be taken into consideration before going for any weight loss plan. All right. What are the things you have to take into consideration? What are the things you have to know before going for a weight loss plan? Number one, it is very important to know about your BMI. Not everybody is meant to be thin. Not everybody is meant to be to be super thin. And that doesn't make you unhealthy. Tips number two that you must know. It takes time before you see results. The next step is it, it takes time before you see results. Don't expect to see results after one week. Do I expect to see results after one month, two months, three months? No. So weight loss is easy if you make it easy for yourself. Like myself, I started my year 2016 and I'm still on it. So tip number three, you have to take it as a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. You won't say, oh, because um, I've seen my results uh, two months, so now I have to stop and go back. No. If you must keep to that result, you want the result to last, then you have to make it a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. Don't expect that exercise alone would work. No. You have to combine both exercise and diet together. There is no point going to the gym when you know that you are actually going to go back home and eat those junk back. There is no point. So it's better not to go. You cannot go to the gym, spend all your day or spend all your time there. And then at the same time, you go back home to feed yourself on chocolate and carbohydrates. No. So exercise and diet works together. So if you're trying to lose weight and you're focusing on exercise alone, so if you're trying to lose weight and you're focusing on exercise alone, it's not gonna work. It won't. And at the same time, if you're trying to lose weight, you focus on diet alone, it will work. Both works together. Both are brothers and sisters. So you have to exercise and then you have to make your make your food clean eat a healthy uh diet get yourself a waist trainer you need it immediately as you're starting you need it because in the beginning it is difficult to handle the urge for food the craving for food it is always difficult in that moment when you're losing weight, when you want to start and you are on a plan, that is when the temptation will come. So you need it. 
to tighten up that area so you don't feel hungry easily. Why is it that some part in the villages, when they are hungry and there is no food to eat, they are short of uh, food and cash, so we just take cloth and tie it on their tummy. So you get yourself a waist trainer. It is very important. If you don't get yourself, if you start your weight loss plan without uh, a waist trainer, then you will end up eating more than what you want to uh, burn. That craving will be much. The craving for food will be higher, especially if you are homeless home. So if you tie your tummy, I mean, you put on a waist trainer, is a good one to start your journey. Do not skip breakfast. If you are going on a weight loss plan, please do not skip breakfast. If you skip breakfast, then you are not going to burn those fats. Breakfast is very important in weight loss. A lot of people will say, okay, because I want to, I want to, uh, I'm watching my weight, they will not eat, no. You are doing more harm to your body. You need to eat. When I, when I was trying to lose my own weight, that was the moment I ate more. I ate more. But you know, pieces by pieces and then I spaced myself. If I breakfast, if I take hot as breakfast, then after two hours, every two, two hours I was eating. After two hours, I would eat an apple. Then after two hours, maybe a cucumber. But I have a standard three good meals daily. The breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner be consistent in the beginning it is very very rough that's the truth in the beginning it is hard it's not easy especially the first two weeks and that's why i said get yourself a waist trainer get yourself a waist trainer if you get yourself a waist trainer if you use a waist trainer then it's going to be easy and so till i come your way Another time, I remain blessed. Thank you. Bye.